Hello everyone, this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie with my December 2016 Love From Lizzie card kit. Um, this is the box that you'll receive. Uh, it will have an address on the front of course, but that's what it looked like. And when you open it up, unless you add extra bits and pieces from my shop, this is what it will look like. So I'm going to move it off for ease and then just bring things back under the camera and run through what is involved. Okay, so here's the first thing. This is the um, the stamp that's included in the kit. This is a Santoro um, little girl, and I adore these stamps. She is number th 33 from the heart, uh, and these are the little collectibles. So they come really beautifully packaged. Um, and she is a little red rubber mounted stamp, um, and she's got cling. And she, they're in full colour on the front, so they are they are gorgeous. So keep the protective seal um, to keep her mounted on. And you also get one of the collectible trading cards. I I guess I'm not sure what purpose they're for, but it's um it's very sweet nonetheless. Um yes, yeah, so that's she's the stamp for this month's kit. I am incredibly excited about this kit and I really hope that everybody is as happy with this one as they were with the last one. Um, there's always fear of failing on the second one when the first is so good. So please let me know if, if you're happy and if you like this. I'm, I'm very interested to hear in what you all have to say. Um, okay, so moving on to the next thing. We have got the Dovecraft Premium Pigment Ink Pad. This is in gold. Um, in last month's kit, I included crystal white and silver, so it's a full-size ink pad to go with those two if you managed to get last month's kit. Um, but I really am going to try my utmost not to double up on products of oh, some sweets. You, you can never have too many sweeties when you're crafting. Um, they may vary though from box to box, so please don't be upset if you don't get those particular ones. Okay, the um, large Ziploc bag, um, again, I, I like everything in a Ziploc so that if the box gets wet in transport, they won't damage the integrity of the papers and it also makes it nice and easy to store after you've um, taken it out of the box. Okay, so A4 sheets, you get five sheets of the white premium cardstock again. Uh, I must reiterate, if you're an overseas crafter, um, the sizes are slightly different. A4 paper is slightly longer and narrower than um, paper that you're used to. Um, and here's the gold mirror board. And uh, yes, you can see my tripod and there's me. Hello. <laughs> um, uh, but I am a massive fan of having um, some nice shine to mount up with. Then there's a full sheet of A4 of the vellum as well. I love having vellum on hand whether or not I'm going to use it in my 10 cards one kit I'm not sure but I'm pleased to have it in there. Okay you get a quarter sheet of acetate and then you get a half sheet of black glitter. Now this glitter is incredible it doesn't come off on your hands and it is black. It's not silver glitter on black card and the same goes for the gold. The camera doesn't do either of them justice. They are fantastic. Um, and I really look forward to using those. Okay, now the paper pads. This, is, this month it is six inches by six inches. Oh, <laughs> changed my mind. I'm going to run the peel-offs. Um, so the first is scripted alphabet. And then um, straight peel-offs. And uh, Now these, unlike last month, are all the same width. Last month there were three different widths. And these are a different kind of border peel-off. These are like a patterned border, but they have little diamonds cut from them. They're really, really pretty. Um, again, you, you, I'll show you how to use those when I do my 10 cards, one kit videos. And there is no need for any wastage whatsoever. Just to let you know, the 10 card, one kit video uh, is going to be coming on the 24th, which is Thursday coming. So here are the papers, six by six inches. Now, First two sheets, they're not paper, they are card and they are dry embossed. So the pattern is raised. The camera doesn't, again, do it justice, I'm really sorry to say. Um, but you can see from the reverse side um, all the impressions there. And 
Um, yeah, they're, they're, they are incredible. And then we have four sheets of, I want to say gloss paper. It's not gloss, it's, um, it's shiny. It's like if you were to have wet heat embossed uh, an image on there and the shine, again, I'm trying my hardest to get it on the camera there, but it's not showing. So I am going to try a distress technique in my 10 cards one kit. Um, to see whether or not we can have a bit of fun that way, something a little bit different. I don't do that very often. So there's four sheets of those, and then there are two of this sort of textured paper is the best way to describe it. It's not linen cardstock, but it's something of that ilk. Um, it has like a very small diamond pattern to the paper, and it's obviously printed on top. And that border sheet, I think, is going to be brilliant just to snip down and use across all of them, all of the cards. Okay, now we have eight sheets. Now these are paper, they are double sided and again, they are all black and white in differing patterns. Um, as you may have been able to tell by now, there is a kind of a theme of black and gold this month. I think it's very classy and with um, New Year's Eve coming up, people wishing a new happy new 2017, I thought this would be um, a really nice Compliment to that. Um, no two pages of the patterned paper are the same. There are two that have uh, black back sides, um, but other than that, all the patterns are different, which is really good. Okay, the embellishment bag. This is all the fun little stuff. Now, the thing that everybody will have seen straight away is there is Nuvo drops. These are my new favourites. These ones in particular are the crystal drops. Uh, and they are the glitter in honey gold and I love these because you can make dot embellishments you know like, um, nice glittery enamel dots but you can draw lines you can, there's all various things you can do I did a remembrance card recently on YouTube and that was using um, all the Nuvo products that I have and they're great okay some more stickers now these are stars um, if you've been keeping up with my sneak peeks, you may have realised that stars is kind of a theme in this kit. Now these stickers are all individually cut. I'm trying to show you here, not very well, but they're very thin outlines of stars. So you could lay them as they are, all very sparkly all together, or individually. So there's a lot of stickers there. Now this is the Nuvo Glitter pure sheen uh, and it's fantastic I could have put a whole bottle in it would have um, meant that I had to reduce other products out and to be honest I don't think I'm ever going to get through my big bottles of glitter they're fantastic, it is incredibly messy of course as is with glitter I have still got glitter all over my craft mat and it's, it's everywhere it's in my hair, it's in my toothbrush I can't get rid of it but the card looks fantastic so there has to be spoils of war. Okay, a sequin mix, um, silver and gold, um, all the same size, again, just for a bit of bling or for a shaker card to use with the acetate. Then there are two strips of gold gems, three rows of each. And then there are there is some um, ribbon and twine here. So this is black and white baker twine. It's made out of paper rather than thread. So it's got quite good texture and body to it and then there is a gold glittered thread and a gold ribbon a satin ribbon and they measure approximately a meter 25 which I believe is just over four foot I'm really sorry if that's wrong please correct me I'm sure you will <laughs> um, but yes they, um, they they will see you through to make a few cards um, depending on how you like to use ribbons and threads okay and then there are five Polaroid frames uh, and these are great they're really thick um, heavy card and as I advertise that you can comfortably make ten cards you're halfway there with these frames so there's those now this is perhaps the the one part of the kit that people will have no idea why I put it in it is simply a small piece of fun foam uh, the colors may vary because for the purpose of what I've put it in here, it, the colour 
is redundant, it makes no difference. Now you can of course use this for a shaker card if you want to, but the reason that I did it is the dies. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with the sneak peeks on Instagram and on my blog, then you will have seen these two star dies, which can either be laid separately or to create um, like a star frame. Then this second star, also in a sneak peek, and that the last star is a new one you won't have seen. Champagne flutes were in the sneak peek, and then we have happy, and then we have new, and then we have year. So they're all the dies from this kit, so there's a couple of sets this time. And the fun foam is with the idea that we can lay the dies onto the fun foam as closely together as possible, then run them through the die cutting machine, and then you can attach the cut shapes to an acrylic block, and you have DIY stamps. They're not the same as red rubber, or the clear polymer stamps and but it's, it's just a way to stretch your dies a little further um, and to, to get your head around the idea of trying to do things that perhaps you wouldn't have done otherwise um, so yeah this was my thinking behind this to just to just to try to see to make a little bit more out of what you've got um, I also really wanted to include two die sets this month because I wanted to have a sentiment die. I love a sentiment die. So, okay, so this is the kit. Um, I will uh, run through all this in my 10 cards one kit video. I will run you know, the foam through the die cutting machine and I will also try my utmost to do this, which is use that big star die twice to see if I can make a stamp with the little star inside to make the framed star. I'm not sure whether it'll work, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> um, I would love to take this opportunity to thank everybody for um, all the support, kind words. It's, uh, it's, it's been really, really <laughs> a fantastic journey. Um, also, I would like to say that I have opened design team call. I would like to have um, a couple of people uh, take a kit of mine a little bit early each month and do some creating. So um, if you go over to my blog, which is www.lovefromlizzie.blog.wordpress.com um, and you'll see the, um, the post there and it gives details of how to apply. Um, it's only for a three month commitment so that um, people aren't tied in forever and ever. But yes, I really hope that you uh, like this kit and I have created many, many more. I really do apologise to all the people that have emailed me asking for November ones. If I was in a position to be able to make more of them up, I assure you I would love to. I find it so sad when I see something that I want and it's out of stock. So I really do feel bad that I didn't ha make up more in the first instance. I just had no idea how popular they would be. Um, but this is all very, very exciting and um, I'm trying to get through all of my teething problems as quickly as I can and I do try to reply to everybody as quick as I can as well. Um, it isn't always very easy. Um, my son has decided that he uh, wants to shove a couple of back teeth through as well so he's not sleeping which is when I try to do most of uh, my work. So. Please bear with me and thank you ever so much for all of your support. Um, you're making this, this mum very happy and I'm, I, I want to make everybody else happy with craft. So thank you very much and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.